Hello, how are you all doing? In last lecture, we studied about different organics of eukaryotic algal cell. Today, we are going to learn something different and the name of topic is ranges of thallus structure. First of all, what is plant? So we can say if there is presence of leaf, stem and root. So it is plant. But a plant body which is do not differentiated into root, stem and leaf. So it is called thallus. In algae, plant body is thallus. Because of algae are most primitive plant. Algae shows wide variety of thallus. This thallus ranges from unicellular to complex multicellular thalli. Thalli is plural of thallus. On the basis of thallus organization, algae are divided into five groups. Unicellular form, colonial form, filamentous form, siphonaceous form, parenchymatous form. First one is unicellular form. Simple unicellular forms are found in all group of algae except Cherophyce and Phyophyce. In class Cherophyce and Phyophyce it is higher algae. So there is no unicellular form. In this single cell function as a complete living unit without any cellular differentiation. That means a single cell can do all functions which which can do a different cells it is classified into two subgroup motile unicells and non motile unicell the name itself suggests motile means the cells which can do movement which can do locomotion the unicellular flagellate forms are freely moving in water by flagella here you can see these two flagella are present in this cell. This is the single cell and two flagella for the movement and also eye spot. Function of eye spot is to give direction. The number of flagella may be one, two or more. It is Based, based on species. The example is Euglena and Chlamydomonas. non motile unicell. These type of cells are also called coccoid forms. They do not possess flagella or eye spot. You can't see in this flagella or eye spot. They may be attached to some substratum. The example of non motile unicells are chlorella and diatoms. Colonial forms. A group of individual cell of species living in habitat is called colony. A group of individual cell of single species, a particular species living in a habitat is called colony. Individual cell of colony are similar in their morphology, physiology and gene content. These cells are similar morphologically, physiologically. Physiologically their function is same, morphologically same and this gene content of these cells are same. They are arranged together by mucilaginous substance. It is classified in two subgroups, coinobial form and palmaloid form. A colony with definite shape, size and arrangement of cell is known as coinobium. As you can observe, a colony have definite shape and size. This, all are, this, this is the single colony. And these all colony have particular shape 
and in the cells of the colony have particular function more, more they are morphologically similar physiologically similar and gene content of these cells are similar these cells and this arrangement is known as coenobium in these these all cells are together by mucilaginous substance the example is volvox palmaloid form an algal colony in which the number of cell size and shape is not definite that means there is different type of shape different type of size of single cell there is no definite shape and size but they are living in common mucilaginous matrix but they function individually they are living together but functioning individually example of this is chlamydomonas as you can observe they are flagellate dendroid form a colony in which individual cell jointed end to end by producing mucilage at their base is called dendroid form this is single cell and this is another cell these two cells are jointed together at end to end position with mucilaginous substance at their base is called dendroid form example is chrysodendron rhizopodial form name itself suggests rhizopoda means pseudopodia a colony in which individual cells are linked together by means of rhizopodia is called rhizopodial form in this a single colony in which individual cells are jointed to go together these are the rhizopods individual cell are jointed together by rhizopods is called rhizopodial form the example is chrysidiastrum filamentous form filamentous form are developed by repeated cell division a particular cell is divided repeatedly then it it forms a filament the daughter cell do not separate but they remain attached to the parent cell and form filamentous structure here the single cell and it is divided and daughter cell do not separate from the parent cell but it remain attached to the parent cell and it forms filament it is classified into three subgroups unbranched filament branched filament and pseudoparenchymatous unbranched filament simple unbranched filament are found only in few groups of algae they may be attached to the substratum or free free floating they are unbranched filament this this is the single cell which are jointed together and it forms filamental structure they may be attached to something in water or free floating the example is nostoc branch filament branch filaments are formed by repeated transfer division for of lateral outgrowth of cell this one is unbranched filament this is branch filament branch filaments are formed by repeated transfer division of lateral outgrowth here you can see the lateral outgrowth of cell the branching of filament may be true or false the example is ketonema pseudoparenchymatous in many filamentous form one or more central exile filaments together with their branches and form parenchymatous structure in this this is the main axis this is main axis and it is one or more in a number and these filaments are jointed together and forms branches 
these main axes is jointed together and form small small branches so it's called parenchymatous structure the example is batrachospermia one is siphonaceous foam here thallus is made up of branched aseptic and tubular filaments as the nuclear division are occur with the without wall formation in siphonaceous form single cell or we can say single filament as you can see here single cell or single filament this fi single filament is single cell in which cellular division occurs and nucleus divide nucleus forms daughter nuclei but there are no formation of septa in this that's why it remains aseptic aseptic and tubular these small small patches are nucleus and this is the single cell in which when cell division occurs nucleus also divide the daughter nuclei forms and in between the parent nuclei and daughter nuclei there is no formation of partition or wall this wall is cell wall there is no formation of cell wall so it remains together in single filament this type of algae is known as siphonaceous form parenchymatous form in this type flat tubular thallus formed by division of cells in two or more horizontal plan in this flat or horizontal you can you can see the leaf like structure in this this is flat horizontal thallus which is formed by cell division in flat pattern daughter cell do not separate from parent cell here daughter nuclei do not separate from parent nuclei here daughter separate daughter cell do not separate from parent cell this is called parenchymatous form example of this is alva these all are the types of thallus structure in algae in which first one is unicellular form as we have observed unicellular form in which a single cell function as a complete living unit and having flagella for motility and locomotion second one is colonial in which a parent colony and a small daughter colony do not separate and remain attached in single mucilaginous mass filamentous form in this daughter cell remain attached to the parent cell and forms filaments siphonaceous in this image you can see a siphonaceous thallus here you can see leaf like structure this is made up of single cell this is not leaf this is not true leaf okay this is only leaf like structure this structure is aseptic as you can say there is you can see there is no septa branch there is different branches and multi nuclei parenchymatous form in this flat horizontal this is also parenchymatous and this this one is also parenchymatous form algae in this 
flat you can see flat horizontal leaf like structure only you can find out leaf like structure this type of thallus is shown in higher algae and this is all these all are the types of thallus structure unicellular unicellular colonial filamentous siphonous and here it is siphonous and parenchymatous here i have attached general characters of algae for revision if you find any doubts then you can find answer from here these are the general characters of algae algae are chlorophyll bearing thallophytes in which sex organ are the either unicellular or multicellular algae do not differentiated into roof root stem and leaf so it is known as thallophytes there is no sterile cell in sex organ in higher plants there are st sterile cells around the sex organ in algae this sterile cells are absent male sex organ of algae is known as antheridium female sex organ of algae is known as archegonium most of algae are aquatic either fresh water or marine water some algae also growing in moist condition the mode of nutrition in algae is autotrophic autotrophic because of presence of chlorophyll pigment algal cell may be prokaryotic or eukaryotic cell wall is rich in cellulose there are also other substances present but concentration of cellular cellulose is high starch is common reserve food for algae reserve food material of algae is starch most of algae is reserve food as a starch reproduction takes place by vegetative sexual and asexual method in algae reproduction takes place by vegetative method that means cells are single cell can do single cell can do reproduction by vegetative method by process of cell division sexual method and asexual method as classification of algae is proposed by g m smith in his book cryptogamic botany algae is divided on seven class on the basis of their color and their new type of nucleus either prokaryotic or eukaryotic there are seven classes of algae chlorophyta euglenophyta pyrophyta chrysophyta phyophyta cyanophyta rhodophyta this in this all classes algae shows wide variety of thallus from unicellular to multicellular as we we have talked about this all thallus thank you